Congratulations on your engagement, you guys. Aw, thank you. Okay. All right. One for you. One for you. One for you. And one for me. And as my late great grandmammy Ella used to say, bottoms up and tops off. What exactly are we drinking? Witch's brew. Okay, what's in it? Oh, well, it's a little bit of this and a lot of that. I'm gonna run this down to the lab. This is a perfect drink for Halloween. There's one shot of this. The doors between this life and the next life fling wide open. We see and we feel and we hear everything in 3D. Right is left, left is right, up is down. And the best part of all, we see dead people. Oh my God. What? Well, her hair's different, but that's her. Who? The dead girl. Yeah, not so loud. That's Rex's fiance, Gigi Morasco. She died. Well, yeah, but the, 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 the young man that was looking for her, I mean, he said she was just confused. Tina, have you been free gaming that witch's brew? No, Court, Court, I swear. I, I know this girl. She came to Landfair. Just, just yesterday, this girl is alive. Freaks are not gonna mind if I snare you away and share a drink with your guests of honor. Come on in, make yourself at home. Don't mind if I do. Talk about up close and personal. That was Rex, the guy that you changed your face and nearly died for. Ring any bells? No one is drinking enough of my witch's room. Well, it sounds like you found enough of it yourself. Oh, excuse me, are you afraid I'm gonna make some kind of scene? Oh, like you need to drink to make a scene. Mm. I'm more concerned about your goose lips. Oh, you're scared that I'm going to tell Maddie that Johnny still loves her. No, Ella, don't worry about anything. I promise I when I made a promise to you. And Roxanne Louise Balsam never belches on a promise. Good, because my sister is marrying Brody. Damn straight. Any reason she wouldn't? I'm the hired help tonight. You're the guest of honor. You just relax and have fun. No, oh, no, I, I am having a great time, and you're doing a really, really good job. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you, Natalie. That makes a lot. Prouder than what you did to Joey. You ripped his heart out and then drove over the steamroller. Don't try it with Rex. I promise you there's nothing going on between you and Rex. Your promises don't mean to play. All you need to know is that I won't stand for it. See, my brothers, they have this weakness for a pretty face, talks a good game, but I don't. So, watch your step. And keep that cheese dip coming, I love it. Cord, what am I going to do? Well, you can start by explaining what the hell you're talking about. Uh, okay, see, I, I was busy planning Natalie and Brody's wedding, all right? And then there was this girl at the door, and she said that, that she used to live at Landfair and that her name was Gigi Morasco. So I went and asked Jessica, but then she said that Gigi Morasco was dead. And then when I went outside, the girl had disappeared. Yeah, obviously this is somebody else. Well, well, yeah, but then a young man showed up a little later, and he said he was looking for someone, and he showed me the picture, and it was the same girl. Hold on a second, Tina. No, hold, I can't hold on, Court. I have to tell Rex that, that his dead fiancé is alive. Can she remember anything? No, nothing. Figures. I don't know. I just saw the two of you. I honestly thought for a second it'll come back. I didn't remember anything, but I got this feeling like he was important. You did go to some far out lengths to try and snag him. I tell you what, I'm gonna go get us some drinks. You just stay here for a couple minutes, and then we'll do another pass. But don't take that mask off for anyone, okay? Excuse me. 
Perfect. You are totally coming in back. Happy Halloween to my favorite guy. I love you, Shane. That's my mom. Uh, we were just talking about how excited Natalie is to be marrying you. That's right, and wild, wild horses couldn't keep Natalie away from that altar. Or me either. Not that I want to try, not that I want to do anything. Well, I can't tell you guys how much your support means to me. You know, Natalie and Liam are the best things that ever happened to me. I want to make the Balsams proud. Quit fishing for compliments. I already said all the nice things I could about <laughs> you the other day. I remember you called me a stand-up guy. And I was wondering if you wouldn't mind standing up for me. The wedding. Rex! Rory, I, I would be honored to be your best man. Rex, listen, there's something I. Wait a minute. You can't be his best man. That's Court's job. How's the. How's the. Happy Halloween to my favorite. I was looking for that. My mom gave it to me last Halloween, but she died. Thanks for finding it. You want a cupcake? My mom loved them. I'm sorry, Rex, but this is all wrong. Uh, what's the problem? Well, Brody just asked Rex to be his best man. And? Well, did he discuss this with you? I mean, because certainly nobody ran it by me. And I have been working my tail off as the maid of honor to plan this wedding. I think somebody should have discussed it with me who exactly I was going to be matched up with. Hey, you. Best man is Brody's call. And if he wants my boy to stand up for him, that's the way it's going to be. You see that woman of shame? You know... No. She's probably somebody's date. Careful or you will totally come on then. Here, let me help you. Turn around. I'm Shane. What's your name? Are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, are you okay? Oh, oh, are you okay? Wait a second. I know those nipples. French Dorian, where are you when we need you? I am going to look ridiculous opposite Rex. I mean, if that's what Natalie wants, then she might as well replace me with Jessica. Don't tempt me. But I'm sure you understand. No, I don't. A and I'm sure nobody else does. I mean, everybody knows I should be paired with Court. Well, it's too late. Brody asked Rex. Rex accepted, right? If Brody wants to go with Cord, that is fine. I do not want to cause problems for Tina. Excuse me. Well, that is very magnanimous of him. You know, I am thinking bow tie. Hey, Shane, what was up with that woman you were talking to? I couldn't find the card that Mom gave me, but she found it. Who was she? I don't know. She didn't say anything, and then she just ran out. Poor boy. He... He was in so much pain. Look, you gotta get this mask back on, all right? We gotta it, go. It felt like... What, like, like you guys are mortal enemies? No, that can't be true. That... It is what it is, kiddo. Let's get the hell out of here. So soon? I knew it! You are going down, Cutter. You and your little friend here. Wow, this is really turning out to be quite a party. Yeah, unless you're Natalie, Brody, Roxy, or Rex. Why, are they fighting? Yes, Tina, with you. Because you try to install me as Brody's best man. Well, I thought that's what you wanted. I know exactly what you're trying to do here, and it has got nothing to do with Natalie and Brody's wedding. I don't know what you mean. Whatever, you know, as long as it distracts you from that old Gigi Morasco business. Gigi Morasco? Oh, my gosh, I almost forgot. I've got to go find Rex. I knew I recognized that body. Can't get me out of your head, huh? Have you no shame, Cutter? 
crashing an engagement party, and I told you to stay away from Rex. Oh, no, it's okay. I caught Cutter and his little accomplice here. I'll call security. No, don't worry about it. I'll handle it. What are you doing here? I heard there'd be candy. You still try to convince me that Gigi's alive somewhere? Hoping that I'll give you a finder's fee in exchange for my dead fiance. Oh, this must be your little partner in crime. Play off, Balsam. No, no, this is this is this is the girl you were gonna try to pass off as Gigi, right? Well, hey, let's lose the mask. See how close you would have come. Rex, where is he? All right, Phoenix, come on. you're coming with me. What to find Rex? No, to talk. Just you and me. Let's go. Are you sure you're okay with the Gord being your best man? Because honestly, if that bothers you, I'm sure if you talked to Gord, he would have no problem stepping aside. I don't want to argue with Tina. Going to war was nothing compared to that woman. <laughs> I'm sorry, the only thing I care about is becoming your husband. Hey, remind me of Well, come on, lady, let's lose the mask and see the woman cut I thought I'd fall for, huh? Whoa, hey, hey, that's enough. All right, you guys caught us. Jigs up. Yay for you. No need a manhandler. We're leaving. I'm really sorry. I should have had a better anti-cutter strategy. It's not your fault. I'm just glad you caught on to them. But they're gone now. Don't let them ruin your night. Come on. Toast. Thank you. First to Aubrey Wentworth for putting together this fantastic party. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And next to my sister and future brother-in-law, Natalie and Brody. I'm glad you guys found each other. And I know if you always put your family first, you will always be happy. So hold on tight and don't let go. Congratulations. <laughs> Tell me the truth, Cutter. What kind of game are you playing with me? Answer me. I'll, look, I'll tell you everything. I'll explain it all, okay? But right now, what we need to do is leave before someone sees you. 